Hello and welcome to the first LE10 News Bulletin with me, Matthew Horbert, here on LE10 News and Citizen's Eye. Coming up, Barl's new community centre prepares for its open day. Hinkley and Bosworth's new mayor takes up her chains of office and helping adults to get in the swim. But first, the former Flutes factory on Holly Road in Hinkley is being considered as a new headquarters for the Borough Council. Executive members believe the site could be a shared public services business centre, which will include the council offices and backroom functions. The authority started looking for alternative accommodation two years ago after the estimated cost of repairing the 1960s built offices on Argent's Mead in the town centre was put at around £6 million. It believes the Hawley Road development will offer a more sustainable and energy efficient studio, office and conference space. And for more details, check out the story on le10news.blogspot.com. Next, a new scheme has been launched aimed at providing an insight into prison life for young people who are involved on the fringes of crime and antisocial behaviour. The Last Chance project has already been presented to a group of Year 9 students and their parents by Tommy Gore from Her Majesty's Prison in Glenparva. Organised by Hinkley and Bosworth's community safety team, it's intended to be not only thought-provoking but also to act as a real deterrent to potential future bad behaviour. A spokesman says when some young people get involved in low-level antisocial behaviour, they can see it as larking about without realising the full consequences. Barwell's new £2 million community centre is to have an official launch day on Saturday, July 3rd. The George Ward Centre is named after the former entrepreneur from the village who went on to become the local member of parliament. The centre replaces the former Cedars building, which had been handed over by Mr Ward to the county council back in 1946 and has been partly funded by the money made from the sale of the Cedars. In 2007, a group of local people formed a committee to help the County Council develop their plans for the new centre. And the launch events will run from 10am to 4pm on the 3rd and include stalls, music acts and a host of other activities. And at 12.30, the official opening will be performed by David Parsons, leader of the County Council, and the village schoolchild who also has the name George Ward. Now, Hinkley and Bosworth has a new mayor. Her name is Sandra Franks, who represents Barwell Ward. She served on the authority for 14 years, is married and has three children. Her deputy is Rob Main, who's been a councillor since 2007. And finally, three six-week courses for adults who want to learn to swim are being run in Hinkley this year. Starting in June and November, Hinkley Leisure Centre will be running a number of lessons for adults. There are courses for the over 60s and for any adult of any age who is defined as a weak swimmer and wishes to overcome their fear of the deep end. That's all from us today. Goodbye.